Morning guys. Um, I was supposed to do this update about my Quadamundi, but it's so early that he hasn't come yet. He's close. But anyway, this update is about not my pet, but a pet that someone kind of abandoned to me. And anyway, uh, it's a pink toed tarantula. Yeah. They're very sweet tarantulas. I mean, yes, they're big. Yes, you know, they're poisonous. Whatever. Who cares? Just as long as you know how to handle one, it's not that bad. But, you know, I mean, you always have that deadly fear like, oh my god, this thing is going to bite me because it can and it's deadly, so it will. That's why I use this paper to hold it sometimes. Anyway, this is my friend Joe's tarantula, and I don't know that much about them. I know that they eat um what do you call it crickets and when they eat crickets you can just see the the venom coming from their fangs when they're injecting it into them but um but yeah i mean this one obviously ha this one is very calm but i still don't trust it because you know it's not my pet um it has a bald spot i don't know if you guys can see it right on its back right there oh ooh, sorry right there that it has a bald spot I don't know what that's about but I, I'm wondering if every tarantula or at least the pink toed ones have that now they're called pink toed for a reason obviously their toes are pink I don't know if you be yeah you can see it right there their toes are pink their fangs are pink they're very you know they're a very docile kind of tarantula um but I just I, I feel ashamed that my friend told me oh babysit it for you know two days and it's been almost three weeks since he hasn't come pick it up i'm about to return it to the pet shop that he got it from just because i feel so guilty that this thing isn't getting any love because you know i mean i'm not afraid of it obviously you know i can touch it and whatever but it's just not my pet i don't want to show it i don't want to give it affection like i would you know say my my cat or my lizard or anything like just anyway but this video is not about the tarantula this video is for the tulum tulum you guys never met i've i might have mentioned him in my other videos i don't even know but um he is a uh mexican spiny tailed iguana and when i say mexican mexican i mean when I was eight years ago when he was this big i brought him from mexico on the airplane and literally he is now officially an illegal Mexican like seriously because I was like I was a little kid and it was this big and on the airplane home from Mexico I put him in my pocket so yeah so he's illegal um don't tell anybody <laughs> you know I'm putting on YouTube viral huh? but anyway who cares because no one's gonna watch my videos but anyway this right here is Tulum the illegal Mexican spiny-tailed iguana. Look at her. I, I mean, people say it's a boy, but I think she's so pretty that it has to be a girl. This is Tulum. There's her spiny tail. Those are beautiful markings. And when I got her, she was one tenth of the size that I that she is now. She, the, I mean, what I've observed is the she grows slowly but her full-grown like relatives are about four feet long so obviously she's gonna get you know huge but this is how big she is now I mean she loves her life because she doesn't stay in a cage because I don't believe in cages so her cage is basically right here this windowsill um, I don't know if you guys can see but the windowsill is has has some has like you know it's just her platform and she just soaks up the sun there and she has you know she sheds her skin she urinates she defecates and everything like this right here like look see she sheds her skin this is skin taken straight off she's like jumping off the laptop um but yeah she's just taking her skin straight off. Oops. Anyway, she takes her skin straight off on her windowsill, and obviously, her she just stays there basically all day long. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't bother anybody. And um, 
like once every few hours I give her this um, water bowl so that she has something to drink from. I mean she might not drink from it right now but I always have it available for her. And yeah that's what she does. She just goes there and you know no one, no one bothers her. And um, yeah, so this video is for Tulum. A little bit about Mexican spiny tailed iguanas. Um, they are definitely not like a regular green iguana that you would find at a pet store because, well, a lot of reasons. One, did you see it? It's definitely not green. <laughs> and two, they're more like aggressive than the average iguana. They, they will come at you and try and bite you. I've been bitten by Tulum like a few times but not not in a bad way because because she felt threatened and obviously as a wild um iguana she she has the right to so anyways um yeah a spiny tailed iguana is not for everybody because they are aggressive lizards you need to be you need to be trained and you need to be handled in the the care and raising of you know exotics like me but you know that's besides the point um it, once you establish your connection with it, it still will bite you, no matter what, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how friendly you get with it, it will always have that instinct to just go at you. And I don't mind that because I've been bitten by reticulated pythons, which is the long, longest snake in the world, and I don't care, you know, it doesn't bother me. But some people might think twice before owning, I mean, of course they have beautiful coloring, they have... A beautiful personality but they're just not for everyone because they will bite you even though you love them even though like I said I had her since she was this big or this big I, I had her when she was really small and she still bites me but she hasn't she hasn't in the last like eight or nine months which I, I feel like that's her getting used to me but if you do not like getting bit by anything, then I suggest you do not get a uh, spiny tail Mexican iguana. But I get it. I, I got her because I was, you know, eight years ago, I was a little freak. <laughs> and I just, you know, I braved the airports and allowed myself, or not allowed myself, but tested the limits of how good America's security is. Obviously, it's not that good if I can smuggle in a... Mexican spiny tail iguana in my pocket. So, yeah, America, you need to mm, you need to beef up your security. I mean, maybe it's it's different. You know, I haven't sm tried and smuggled in an, uh, a lizard in in months. So, or no, years even. So, yeah, maybe it's different now. But oh, look at Archie. He's all he's all hyped. Archie. Oh, don't mind the Heineken. Archie. Look at him. He's just so gorgeous. And then Tulum's up there somewhere. Oh, you can see like the tip of his tail, which is like right. I'm trying to try and point right there. Ooh. <laughs> right when I pointed it. Right. But um but yeah, spiny tailed Mexican guanas, they make wonderful companions, but they are aggressive so be careful and the older they get the more aggressive they get even even if they are handled from a young age because i handle him all the time i mean like i said he hasn't bitten me in months but i always have that instilled fear in the back of my head knowing that he will bite me again or she sorry because I, I don't know her gender i just assume this it's a girl because she doesn't have what regular iguanas have which is like that jalop scruff that's like huge and like a mane over here uh, she doesn't have that so i feel like that's what she is but maybe since her breed is um spiny tailed i don't really know what the i mean i saw the full grown ones and they did have the beard but you know like i said they live for a long time and they take a long time to develop and a long time to grow so i don't know maybe one day she will develop her, he will develop her hit <sighs> Look, I can't even talk. <laughs> he will probably develop his little thing. If not, who cares? Anyway, that's my iguana, and she's the oldest thing I have have. She's the oldest pet I have. She's older than my dog, Chewy, that ferocious motherfucker that left me a scar that one time. You see, I'm not giving you the middle finger. I'm just showing you guys the scar 
Remember when he she, he bit me? Oh my god. Ugh. Watch that video again. It was the greatest. It just showed him for who he is. Like, his ferociousness. Um, so yeah, don't get a dog ever. Fuck dogs. I hate dogs. Get a Kawada Mundi if you want a dog. <laughs> Alright, so I will update later today and you guys will see my Cody, hopefully. Um, it's 12.17 right now and he arrives at 2 p.m. in the airport, so... Good luck. Ugh, I just hope he gets here sooner. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. Uh, I'll see you later and have a good one. Bye-bye.